Eurofound has carried out five European Working Conditions surveys since 1991. Conducting an international survey in many different countries and languages is very demanding in terms of organizational planning and procedures. In order to ensure that the survey is carried out to the highest specifications and scientific standards, a detailed methodological framework has been put in place. With the Working Conditions Survey, we aim at uh, gather information on working conditions in uh, different points of time so that we are able to monitor trends in working conditions. Well, this is quite a, an interesting time because we're having a big crisis and it's going to be the second time that Eurofound is doing a survey at a time of the crisis and we want to see how quality of work and employment is faring um, this time. We want to see whether companies and workers would have learned their lessons. We do internal research to uh, look at uh, what would we like to cover this time, what might be dropped, although it's always very difficult to drop questions. And uh, so we do that firstly internally. And then afterwards, uh, we have a consultation with a questionnaire development group. The questionnaire development started with uh, inviting experts from all the member states uh, to contribute to the questionnaire design and to identify new areas. And uh, we tried to identify the relevant topics for all the member states. We also have a broad scope of topics in the survey so that we can uh, analyze the relationships of different aspects of working conditions, such as, for example, work intensity and health. We are following the best practices in uh, translating the questions. The survey uses registers. Where registers are not available, the random route procedure is used to select a random sample of employees and self-employed people. The respondents were interviewed face-to-face -face in their own homes outside normal working hours. We not only collect information on working conditions, but we also collect uh, inf what we call background variables. So we get, collect information on gender, for example, education, occupation, sector, and uh, these we are able to use to make comparisons. To reflect a cross-section of society, a random sample of working people was selected in each country ranging from 1,000 to 4,000 people per country. For the Working Conditions Survey this time, we opened up the possibility to member states to actually increase their sample size at their own cost if they wanted to do that. The survey included a comprehensive quality control framework to ensure the highest possible standards in all data collection and editing processes. Uh, in addition to that, we actually go out uh, to visit the companies in the field where we have the language uh, capability and we go and uh, just see if they're complying with the rules and regulations of uh, the way it should be carried out and also it gives us the opportunity to see how the survey is working actually on the ground as well. This fifth edition of the survey will build on the lessons learned from the previous four surveys and will provide a rich portrait of workplace trends over the past 20 years. We will very shortly be starting to contract uh, what we call secondary analyses. So these will be secondary analyses of uh, the Working Conditions Survey uh, and they will be on specific aspects of interest to our policy makers, uh, to the foundation, etc. So for example, that might be on health, a secondary analysis on health, or on gender, or work organisation. There's a number of them. Data sets from the survey are used by academic institutes and other third parties for further research. The rule in, the, in Eurofound currently for the data availability is that we release the data on a data archive one year after the publication of the overview report for public uh, consumption and uh, anybody can access it. It's completely free and it's just to, to be downloaded. I think there's a very high level of interest in that. 
To find out more about the European Working Conditions Survey, go to www.eurofound.europa.eu.